Hey, hey, Bogdan Kopil here, the EdTech coach, and this video will show you the new sharing dialogue interface in the Google Suite. Now, you might have heard that there are some changes coming to the sharing dialogue in Google Docs, Sheets, Slides, Forms, and so on and so forth. And you might be asking yourself, why now? Why before the end of the school year when we just got our kids used to distance learning using Classroom and Google Suite and so on and so forth? This video is meant to reassure you that there aren't huge changes coming to the dialogue, uh, sharing dialogue, and basically we have the exact same sharing settings. So let's dive right in and let's compare the old and the new interface. On the left hand side, you'll see the old interface and this is where I go to the share button. You might be familiar with this interface because this is what we've had all this time. On the right hand side, this is where we'll see the new interface. So when I go to the share button here, you'll see that the interface looks more modern. It's a bit more streamlined and in line with the material design approach for all of the Google uh, suite and the Google ads. Basically, it's the same thing once again. If I want to invite somebody, I can just type in their email addresses and I have the same options, editors, commenters and viewers. One thing that changed, it's a minor thing. In the old interface, we had those small icons. For viewers, we had the eye. For commenters, we had the comment icon. For editors, we had the pencil icon. Those are gone, but still we can clearly see the roles and we can choose what role we want to give to each individual email or group that we shared the document with. So let's say I want to invite my other account as a commenter. I can choose to notify people. I can choose to send them a message. Same thing like in the old interface. Now, once I've shared the document, of course, because this is outside of my organization, it will ask me if I'm sure I want to share the document outside of my organization. This is for data protection. Uh, so make sure that if you do share a document outside of your organization, double check that it doesn't have any sensitive data. So now I've shared the document with my teacher account. Some slight changes as well in terms of giving temporary access. Before I had the timer right next to the, uh, to the role for that person. Now I actually have to click on the role and this is where I can choose to give them temporary access. Once again, this is something that uh, was there before. It's just a slight adjustment in the interface. What else can I do here? Also, I can make the editor and owner so if i have a person that's an editor once again they do need to have the editor role and once i give them the editor role i can also make them an owner provided they are part of the same domain like mine and of course i can also also remove somebody from here just as well so same idea like before one other thing that changed in terms of the owner settings is that you'll find them in the cogwheel on the top right hand side and these are the sharing settings for the, I mean, these are the owner settings for the document. You can uh, prevent editors from changing permissions and sharing the document, which means that if you share a document with your students, they will not be able to kick other students out of the document or invite other people to that document. And also if you have a document that you want to keep protected, you can uh, disable the option to download, print and copy for viewers and commenters. So this is also need to know. It was there before, it was just phrased differently because before you were preventing them from doing this now you actually can enable or disable this dialogue when it comes to links the link um, options are just below the uh, the first part of the sharing dialogue and this is where you can change who has access to your document so right now this document is public because anyone with on the internet with the link can view i can change this and i can restrict it which means that it will only be accessible by specific people I've shared with, uh, I shared the document with, meaning me and my other account, or I can change it and make it visible in my domain. So once again, same thing like before, I can also choose the viewer, commenter or editor role. So basically in a nutshell, this has not changed. One other thing that sort of shifted uh, is that if you want to make your document searchable for in your domain, you'll find the setting here. And here is where you can choose to allow people from your domain to actually search for this particular file. But that's it. Basically, in a nutshell, we have the same, uh, the same sharing settings. Nothing changed in terms of that. Uh, just the interface is more modern, I would say. The same thing goes if you want to share the document from Drive. Remember, you can also share documents from the Drive interface. Same idea like before, nothing changed here. So 
hope this was useful hope this is easy uh, to get on board with both for you and for your students but once again just remember you don't need to worry about it same sharing settings more intuitive interface in the meantime let me know what you think about the changes in the comments or of course if you have any questions uh, feel free to ask them and i'll be more than happy to help out until next time i wish you an awesome week and uh, see you in the next video bogdan kopil the tech coach over and out